Hello there, and I'd like to speak to you about uh, liquidarianism, uh, breatharianism, fruitarianism, veganism, all these umbrella terms which talk about different you know, lifestyles of, of, of diets. Now, diet is a bad word to use. I like to use the word lifestyle because it is a new lifestyle for a lot of people, and it's a way of life where I'm, I'm doing it. It's, I'm not being picky with my foods at all. I don't choose not to eat meat because I'm picky and I'm fussy. It's because I know about the, the health benefits of, of, of eating plant-based foods, of having superfoods, uh, spring water, good spring water, and taking care of your body. Now, I had a comment the other day. It says, said to someone that, um, because I'm here in Indonesia, saying, if you're hungry, then eat some fish, eat some, eat some egg. And it's like, you're too picky. And I didn't like that comment because... Food is a very personal subject for people. At the moment, if you're commenting about my videos and you think, oh, I'm not interested in that, I need to eat meat, then you may be wrong. I can put my hand up and say, I may be wrong in what I'm doing too, but what I know for my body is that I know what my body needs. I know my body better than anybody else knows my body because I'm me. And I know how my body reacts to certain things, how I feel better, how I don't feel lethargic and tired. For me, bread is the worst thing, uh, especially white bread. I do not touch white bread at all anymore. Um, white bread, it's like it's like eating Play-Doh. It's 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 soft, it's uh, gooey, and the thing about it, you it gets stuck to the roof of your mouth. And when you're digesting that, it's just sticky. It's it's you know we're this tube basically from our roof of our mouth to our back door, and it's important to keep that all clean and clear. If you have something that's like a, a brick in there, or or uh, something that's stodgy and sticky, then you're not absorbing properly, you're feeling tired. It also takes a lot of energy for your body to break that down and absorb and digest and pass out. So it's almost like a full-time job. Your body is going into overtime mode <laughs> and you're getting very tired. So for, let's, let's start on the stages. So veganism to me, uh, when I first went vegetarian, I was happy. I was still eating some dairy, I was drinking lots of milk. But I found that I was getting like, like a headache when I was eating milk, uh, drinking milk and having dairy. So I started to eliminate that. I continued eating fish, which I loved at the time. And then I, and I just decided to go off of it. I don't know what it was. It just, the smell of it now puts me off. And I'm not interested in eating any meat at all. It doesn't look like food to me. It just, it's a dead animal on a plate. Um, for me, I'm not ethical. It's, I understand nature that people need meat to sustain themselves. Some people do actually need meat. And I've heard this before. Uh, I disagree for myself, but what other people do, it's their choice. In in the natural world, we have animals hunting for meat and eating meat. It is natural. But for me and other, probably others out there who are like-minded into veganism and eating plant-based diets, then eating a plant-based diet is very, very important. And it's very refreshing. You can generate more energy. Um, there's a lot of there's less heart attacks, um, less high cholesterol for people, um, and amazing health benefits that come with it. So being vegan is, is amazing. There's an abundance of food. You don't lack in protein. You don't lack in B12. Uh, B12 is, is a disorder that some people have. They can't actually absorb the B12 themselves, so you need B12 injections. Um, going fruitarianism, going fruitarian, can work for a number of years. I know this. However, after a while, you do need other things, and it's important to, you can live off fruit for as long as you like, for a few months, for a couple of years, but after that, you probably do need to eat more greens and phytonutrients, chlorophyll, greens, and keeping your diet more alkaline as possible. So lots of greens are very, very important. Um, going into liquidarianism. So liquidarianism is, is having juices alone, having just, just, just liquids. And we have all been liquidarian at some point. If you think about it, in, in if we're in the baby in our mother's, uh, when we're a baby in our mother's womb, we were not eating solid food. We were eating liquid, broken down food that goes straight into our stomach. We never ate it. We never chewed because it went straight into our um, belly, into our into our belly button. That's why we have a belly button. It's because that's the uh, the entrance point for the the the, the liquid. And then when we come out of, uh, of, of our mothers and we are born, we're born into this beautiful world around us, we are still liquidarians for a, a while. We're, we're having the, the breast milk from our mothers, which uh, is liquid. So for you know maybe a couple of years, we are liquidarian. And even when we're eating baby food, it is all starting to be slightly solid food. So we are 
perfectly capable of being liquidarians at some point. Semi-solid uh, semi foods are fine, you can do that. However, it's also not good for the teeth. If you want to keep your teeth strong, you also need to have um, stronger teeth where you're crunching and, and, and putting uh, density on your teeth. Another thing is breatharianism. Now breatharianism, I'm not sure if I believe or, or know because I've never seen for myself any evidence of it. I've, I've met a few people who have said they're breatharian and I haven't seen any evidence of it at all. I've seen more evidence against it. So for me, I believe that you can fast and you can sustain yourself for 60 days, which a few of my friends have done like 60 day water fast, uh, 30 day water fast. It sounds extreme. Uh, I haven't got that far yet. Um, but I guess your body really does clean and clear out. But you do need to go for that long. Does breatharianism exist? Please let me know if you've experienced it yourself, if you are, or if you've met somebody that doesn't eat food at all. Um, or someone that's just an aquatarian, I guess. That's the wrong word. That's for eating fish only. But someone who's just having water alone. Um, so for me, breatharianism, it's intriguing. I, I'm interested in it for seeing if it exists and seeing if it's possible but why why do we need to we have all this beauty around us we have fruits we have taste buds for a reason to taste the taste to taste if something's acidic or alkaline or even tasty and beautiful and and you know juicy and mm, just spicy and everything we have these for a reason and we can enjoy nature however everything is in balance we don't need to eat every single day we can have everything in balance and the older we get the less food that we need um, the younger we are, we need more food because our body is growing, it's, it's expanding, our limbs are getting bigger, our body is getting wider, our bones are getting stronger. So it's important to have the right nutrients when you are uh, very, very young. For me, when I have children and, you know, I'm going to give them a good diet and if, if they choose to be whatever they want in the future, if they want to eat meat, or, that's their complete their choice. I just hope that they'll be happy and healthy. A lot of the, the healthiness comes from our mind, um, the, the stress that we have, it's our software. And if our software isn't running operationally, if our mind is stressed, then it affects our whole being. If you're, Wherever your uh, mind goes, your body follows. So it's important always in life to feel balanced, calm, relaxed, stress-free, and then your body will follow as well. Likewise, if your body is going through some stress, if it's going through too much toxicity, then it can make your mind do that too. You can have cloudy thoughts, you can have hangover if you have too much alcohol. Um, so it's important to keep your diet completely, or your lifestyle completely important. Now, diet is a wrong word to use, I don't use it. Sometimes I, I sip up and I say it, like, like just then. However, diet has the word diet in it. Diet in it. You know, D-I-E, and then the T on the end for an extra, it's like die. So diet, is set up for failure already. People always say, oh, I'm on a diet today, I'm on a diet, I'm on a diet this week. It's like, why are you on a diet for? Why don't you keep that lifestyle and eat properly? Um, you can still enjoy the foods you love, but just don't have too much of, of an abundance of food all the time where you're overeating and you're putting on weight. So if you wanna feel happy, you know, really look after yourself. Um, the main important things in life is, is shelter, is food, is family, friendship, connection, um, I think the five human basic needs, I've probably got that wrong, um, but mainly that is what we need in life. We need, we need happiness, we need life, we need friends, family, we need vitality, we need health. Money doesn't buy you happiness, materialistic things don't buy you happiness. Um, however, once you've got it, you can enjoy it. However, your health is much important. As soon as your health starts to go downhill, that's when you start to get really unhappy. Recently, I fractured a rib by having a, an accident in the water and I couldn't move for about four or five days. It was really horrible. And I started to feel really low. I was like, no, I'm gonna heal it myself. I'll, first I was gonna do a fast, so I thought I know about the health benefits of fasting and eliminating food. But I was like, no, I'm gonna eat lots of greens. And what I did, I just ate tons and tons of food here. <laughs> ate lots of rice, lots of green vegetables, tons of green vegetables. And my nails grew, my hair grew much faster. And I was concentrating my rib to be healed. Now there's no clicking feeling because there's no fracture. Um, so, you know, foods work really well. If I, was, if I chose to eat eggs and fish, I don't think I would have healed properly. And I don't eat that anyway. So anyway, thanks for watching my video. I hope you've uh, had a bit of uh, awareness and insight into this world of the umbrella terms of, 
of uh, liquidarianism, veganism, vegetarianism. There's other names out there, such as the rainbow diet, uh, aquitarianism. It's just a name at the end of the day. Keep it in balance. If it doesn't grow on a tree, don't eat it. If it comes in a packet, don't eat it. Nature packets things perfectly well. I saw a picture yesterday of somebody that showed me a, a picture of a banana, one single banana in a plastic bag, and it's like, doesn't nature already have its own packaging? So think about that. Try not to pollute the earth. Keep it simple. Keep it natural as best as you can. We can't always do it 100%, but try your best and you'll help the world also. So thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Have a great day.